Basically, my life went from New York to California to New Zealand. When I arrived at, in Kurtunu, within 10 kilometers in both directions, there was only 50 people. It was completely isolated, world-class surf break, and just eight hippies bought this land and lived here. It was like just, you know, freedom, you know, Garden of Eden. For a bunch of years, I made pottery, and you roast clay, you gotta be conscious of the color, the temperature, the surface texture. It's the same with coffee. I went from roasting pots to roasting coffee. <laughs> well, this guy came up with a handful of green beans like this. So we just threw them in the popcorn machine and it worked. So I added this can so I could have a bigger volume. Then we put on this little top here with a sort of one of Nadoka's pantyhose. And so when, when you roast coffee, all the grains, all the skins fly off. And if you catch them in a the little pantyhose, they wouldn't roll over the place. And then you pour it out, and it tasted quite good. Oh, Martin, that's a French roast. I just thought, wow, that's cool. So I set up a bank of six of these things. This is the first coffee la la roaster. Ta -da, look. So we just started a little business roasting for friends. And then I entered a contest the first year. I won two silver awards out of this tiny little two kilo roaster, you know. It was really cool, you know. When we stood up for the awards, they said, oh, Carmano, what'd you put in that to make the judges happy, you know? I said, I know we don't waste it in that. Wow, that's really good. <laughs> Seriously. Holy shit. And then the Duca said, why don't we do it properly? So I designed a, a roaster. I had a brake drum from a car that closed the back of it and a frying pan that closed the front of it. I had a motor from a fan and, and it worked perfectly. Mine are closed drum roasters, which no one else uses because they're sort of like primitive. And all the fumes, everything just stays in there, you know? And uh, I, I reckon that's why it's kind of an intense flavor without being burnt. Some beans love to be caramelized, eat some origins, like the Kenyans and other beans don't like to be caramelized because they taste burnt, so you gotta know your origins. I roast each thing separately, exactly what I think is perfect, and then we blend them. I think I escaped from what I was supposed to be, you know, a New York Jewish doctor. That's my whole family's like that. And I became a surfer, then I came to New Zealand and became a potter. I've always just wanted to just live my life like really good, you know, and, and not be pushed into shapes that other people want.